Welcome and thank you for listening in to Wikitoprop, a multimodal approach for predicting Wikidata properties from Wikipedia. My name is Michael Lucke. We first give you three minutes summary to, as an overview of the whole paper and then we go in more details into the challenge, data processing, methods and results. Let's start with what is Wikidata. We know Wikipedia, which is uh, talking about a bit everything in this world, um, but it is a human readable content and machines have still problems to actually understand the details which we have in here. So the Wikidata project, where you have a link here from every Wikipedia article directly to, is taking care of actually building up a database, a knowledge base, describing such kind of entities like Greeny, the water skiing elephant, with properties and the respective um, values. So Greeny is of the instance Asian elephant, Mamming living in captivity, and we have other information like date of birth, place of birth, and so on. It is important that this information is complete and so we want to help the editors of Wikidata to add the most important properties at the beginning. Wikidata spots over 8000 properties of this day, so to give a good um, first selection of which properties to add is crucial. Wikidata itself uses association rule sets to propose a first um, guess, which is built on the most important properties over all articles. A further um, tool which is inside available um, in Wikidata is Recoin. Recoin goes through the statistics based on the instance types, on the classes of an article, gathers the properties used on all instances of a class to give you a statistical input. This um, obviously gives the most obvious um, um, predictions, but is not down to the individual element. And finally, with Wikitoprop, which we introduce, we take the information out of Wikipedia and are able to propose a per entity prediction on which properties are still missing. Our architecture is using the embedding of multiple languages of Wikidata, uh, Wikipedia and the article images feed it through a deep learning network and actually can predict the uh, properties which are missing for an entity. Uh, our results are outperforming Recoin and other tests which we'll see later on. Finally, we also pro pro uh, provide an API directly on the Wikimedia infrastructure to use this information from inside Wikidata. Please get your personal copy of the paper for further insights or stay tuned for more information. The challenges which we face here are first of all that Wikidata has a lot of properties. As of today speaking, we have 8639 properties in Wikidata, from which ones a lot are identifier properties, properties linking to other databases. If you remove these and clean up um, extremely rarely used properties, we are a bit below 911 properties. Still, with 911 properties and the multi-label classification task, we have a result of roughly 10 to the power of 300 classes. Next, we want to use the input for of different languages from Wikipedia, because this gives us a better signal which we can use to predict properties per entity but not all languages are fully overlapping um, with the different entities which gives us the challenge that we need to integrate missing information for our predictions. English is overall the most complete language and we take this as the base for our predictions and our deep learning networks. Finally, our task is to capture the non-obvious, the outstanding, the interesting. With this example, Johnny Depp, it's easy to find um, properties which are applying on an actor, 
but if an actor has siblings it's actually only on the individual entity um, clear so we need to take the input from the textual description from wikipedia to prop uh, to be able to predict this property um, on an entity for the data processing we actually take the dump of three languages english german and french as input further we gather an image per wikidata entry where available and finally we take the wikidata dump as a snapshot for the current property representation as a learning target the different languages are embedded with standard embedding tools first wikipedia to wec which is using a link graph model the traditional skip gram model and an answer context model combined gives us 300 dimensions per article per language and finally we have the dense net um, a well-known and uh, used um, embedding for images where we use the pre-trained dense net 121 which results in 1024 dimensions per image so our deep learning architecture works as follows we first take all the language embeddings independently and get it through a three-layer network and train these once we have trained this we discard the last layer and put them together into a new architecture where we have a new non-initialized uh, fusion layer and dense layer Next, we plug in the dense net, which comes pre-trained, and we use the information of the missing parts with a Dirac um, connection so that we do not introduce noise if there is missing um, entities in one of these um, embedding modalities. And finally, we freeze the overall top layer and start training the rest of the network we do train within a traditional 70 30 percent training set to test set split and contrary to regular classification problems a large range of metrics is available for these multi-label classifications um, roughly they are the label prediction evaluation which gives us um, a binary um, input on um, if a property is present and then we can also see this as a ranking evaluation if you look at the numbers we clearly outperform the baseline and interestingly we can also see here what happens if we remove the images with the text only here we have the three embeddings and as a next step we only look at the english modality um, alone as input all um, is outperforming on F1, the statistical only informed um, method. We gain significantly with every added step in this process. If we add more information, more modalities, we can improve our numbers. Finally, we deployed this um, tool first we have an api endpoint which can query which is installed on the toolforge this is a wikimedia platform so it's independent from us and on the wiki to prop toolforge you see first of all all predictions and then the green background signifies predictions which have already been um, taken care of where we actually already have an use inside the wiki data and on the right side we see a, a so-called wikidata gadget which is making use of the api and only shows and proposes the missing properties per entity as a short outlook we plan to add further modalities um, this can be videos, sound, but we can also think of including Wikidata itself. This we omitted up to now to not confuse the, um, it with other 
methods like recoin or the ACL method in regards of input. We hope that we can guide knowledge graph construction tasks as our precision is pretty high on the property prediction. And finally, we would like to look into the generalization to other knowledge graphs and databases. Uh, we can think of retail product catalogs um, where we have products and text descriptions, uh, which it's always useful for facetted search or other tools to have actual structured information on the products a part of the textual description. We can also think in patent or low text or modical documents based on paragraphs to have some features which we can extract. Thank you very much. We are looking forward to your questions. The code is available on the address below pointed out and for any questions upfront please feel free to contact me by email.